Fierce adventure. Fierce romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the sheriff, he is getting closer. This way, Pancho, Pablo. The Cisco Kid. Exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. Webster City, population 175, served as trading center for a vast untamed region of the Old West. On its straggling main street was the office of the Webster City Sentinel, a newspaper published now and then by various editors who moved away from Webster City with startling regularity. This is the story of an editor who didn't move away. Young Don Harris, whose name was to become a legend in Webster City, and whose fight was to be joined by the Cisco Kid. Master Pancho, the team is running away. See, si, Cisco, you see we catch him? We must, Pancho. We've got to stop the runaway or the senorita will be injured. We do it, Cisco, we do it. Come, Cato, come. Hey, Easy. Uh, Pancho. Easy, she's go. Quickly, the senorita. She's fainting. Catch her. Uh, Pancho, catch her. Wait, uh, easy, Pancho. Here, here, I will help. Yeah, uh, let her lay on the ground. Here. Put a blanket under her. Oh, the senorita. Look very sick, she's go. See how white she is? Hurry, hurry. Get uh-huh. my canteen. Put cool water on her forehead. Here, stand aside. I throw water. No, 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 Pancho. No. Stop. Do not throw the water. No. No, no. Here, take this next scarf. Wet it, then bathe the senorita's head. Uh-huh. I'll rub her wrist. Yeah. There, the senorita's oh. opening her eyes. Easy, Pancho, easy. Yeah, yeah. There, I raise her head a bit. Huh? What? What? Just, just like quietly, senorita. Everything will be all right. What happened? Your team ran away, senorita. Oh, yes. I remember, but after the runaway, what happened? Uh, the, the senorita, she get a very bad faint. And she almost fell off the wagon. <laughs> but Pancho catch her. Oh, thank you both. I'm very lucky you came along. I'm Mary Harris. We are very happy to be of service, senorita. I am the Cisco Kid, and my friend is Pancho. I'm glad to know you, Mary Harris. Oh, you're both very kind. <laughs> uh, you live on a rancho near here, senorita? Oh, I don't live near here. I live in Webster City. My brother runs the Sentinel there. Your brother is the new editor of the Sentinel, eh? Yes, we came out from the east for my brother's health. and He bought the paper, but I don't know. There seems to be so much trouble. You are having trouble, senorita? I guess we shouldn't have come here. I don't think the people in Webster City want a newspaper. Ah, that could be true. Well, if the senorita feels well enough now, Pancho and I will see she gets home safely. Howdy, editor. New edition coming out today, I see. Yes, I'm just running off the last of them now. I'd like to get one if they're ready. Ink still wet. Better let them dry a while. Oh, I'll be careful. Yeah, I'll just take one off the table here. All right. Uh, excuse me a minute. I want to unlock this form. Ah. I see you didn't take the advice you got about what not to print in the Sentinel. What do you mean? There's here a piece about cheating and thieving going on in a certain cafe here in Webster City. Why shouldn't I print it? It's true, isn't it? That ain't the question, mister. When the boss says don't print something, you don't print it, that's all. You know, friend, a newspaper has only one excuse for being in business. That's to print the news and the truth. As long as I'm editor, the Sentinel will do just that. Yeah, as long as you're editor. But that ain't likely to be long. Well, you had your warning. And as far as your paper's concerned, here's what I think of it. I don't like you tearing up one of my papers that way. They cost money. (laughs) Sure, sure. Here's a quarter for your stinking sheet. Just a minute, mister. I don't want you to be cheated. Here's four more copies. (laughs) 
I, I... Yeah. Better get used to knocking when you come in here, Sam. Don't like people walking in on me unannounced. Oh, it didn't mean nothing by it, Tim. Well, just be careful, that's all. Sometimes they shoot fast and then see who it is afterwards. Boss, I was up the street to the Sentinel office. That Don Harris ain't taking your warning. See? Here's a paper just out. Let me see it. Hmm. Run the thieves out of Webster City. Listen to this, Sam. I already read it. Well, listen to it again. While we will never agree that gambling is a legitimate business, we bow to the fact that men will gamble. But when men try to buck the games that Tim Miller runs at the Silver Dollar, they're not gambling, they're being robbed. Why? What are you going to do about it, Tim? That's a silly question, Sam. I'm going to do just what I always do, run that Don Harris out of town. I don't think this kid will scare easy, Tim. He's little and he's sickly, but he's got fighting eyes. If he don't scare easy, there's other ways of taking care of him. Come on. We're going up to see him. You Don Harris, editor of the Sentinel? Yes, I'm Don Harris. I sent word to you to watch what you're printing. Oh, you're Tim Miller, I take it. That's right, partner. I sent word by Sam here last week. Yes, I've met the gentleman. Well, go on. I warned you not to print that stuff about my place being crooked. True, isn't it? Better watch what you're saying, Tenderfoot. It ain't healthy here for little runs from the east. I'll handle this, Sam. You didn't like the story I printed today, Mr. Miller. That ain't the half of it, Harris. Well, I'll give you a little advance warning. You're going to be exceedingly unhappy with the one I print next week. Sonny, there ain't going to be no story printed next week. There ain't going to be no sentinel either. I think that remains to be seen. All right, Sam. Oh, I'll take care of the little runt. Look out, he's reaching behind the desk. Oh, yeah, trying to get a gun, are you? Well, I'm faster on the draw. You didn't need to do that, Sam. We don't want no murder charges. He pulled a gun on me, didn't he? Better shoot in self-defense, didn't he? All right, Sam, but you should have been careful. Come on, spill that typecase and bust that printing press. And we'll get going. Yeah. Well, I guess this will take care of the next issue of the Sentinel. Yeah, do a good job, Sam. Whoa, what Oh, Cisco, I can't ever thank you enough. Won't you please come into the office for a minute? I'd like to have you meet my brother. Certainly, senorita. It would be a great pleasure. Uh, Pancho. Si, Cisco. Tie up senorita Mary's team. Si, Cisco. Pancho, do it. What team? Who up now, team? Whoa. I thought Don would be here getting out the paper. I guess... Oh, Don! Madre mia, Don. this place has been badly wrecked. Senorita, your brother. He's been shot. Oh, Don, One moment, Don. senorita. Maybe your brother is still alive. Here, let me see. Oh. Easy, senor, easy. Do not try to move. Senorita, water. Call Pancho. All right, Cisco. He didn't... Want me to print the truth. Who did not, senor? Uh, the man. The truth would hurt most in this town. Here's the water, Cisco. Can he talk? You words, senorita. But we must get him to a doctor right away. Cisco, can Pancho help? See, si, here, Pancho. Uh-huh. Help me lift senor Don. See, si. Very carefully now. Uh, Easy. Well, we carry him up and put him uh, in the wagon. Do you know where is the doctor, Cisco? Yes, but Cisco's not going. No? You and senorita Mary will drive carefully to John's general store. But Cisco, well, the John's store is the undertaker. See, si, amigo, but senor Jones is also the doctor. Uh, these people loco, Pancho thinks. You're not coming, Cisco? No, senorita. I would like to stay here and see what damage has been done to your brother's printing office. Senor Martin? Yes, I'm Martin. What can I do for you? I am the Cisco kid, and I come to you, senor, as the most important man in Webster City to ask your help. Help? About what? You ain't wanting to borrow any money, are you? Oh, no, senor. I have no worries about that. I ask your help for a friend of mine, Senor Don Harris of the Sentinel, who is badly wounded and whose printing office has been wrecked. How did it happen? Someone went to the office and shot Senor Harris. I think it might have been Tim Miller. Tim Miller? Why would you think that? Here is a copy of the Sentinel, which I found in the office. All the other copies were destroyed. You see? Here is a story about Tim Miller's place being crooked. Mm, pretty outspoken, ain't it? Reckon Miller'd be right mad. But I don't guess he'd go shooting a man. This is the reason I have come to you, Senor Martin. Why come to me? Looks to me like the sheriff should handle this. 
Cisco and the sheriff have trouble speaking calmly together. He's a very suspicious hombre, that sheriff. I reckon he is, but I don't see how I can help. I thought you might know of someone who wanted very badly to get rid of Senor Harris. Someone who thought that Don Harris might be better out of Webster City. I uh, can't say as I do. Of course, Tim Miller'd be pretty hot about this story. Say, uh, did you find any evidence of any kind? Nothing, Senor Martin, of value. Perhaps I had better go talk with this Tim Miller. I don't know as I would if I was you, Cisco. Might be better to tend to your own business. Keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. But this does concern me, senor. Don Harris came out to the West to regain his health. He's a sick man, senor Martin. Looks like he's going to be a lot sicker if he stays around here. That is what I do not wish to have happen. I think I will pay a call on Tim Miller. It is I, the Cisco Kid. Cisco? Si. Oh, yes, yeah, just a minute. Well, Cisco, ain't seen you for a long time. Didn't know you were around these parts. Si, senor Tim. I have been away, but uh, what is it you say? The bad penny always turns up, eh? Si. Cisco has a way of turning up. Yeah. Usually when you do, there's trouble. But you and I always got along, didn't we, Cisco? <laughs> I have never had trouble with you before, if that is what you mean, senor. This time, I am not so sure. Well, Cisco, I don't see why you and me should have any trouble. You tend to your business, and I tend to mine. See, that has always been the way. But now, maybe your business becomes Cisco's. What do you mean by that? My friend, Don Harris of the Sentinel, has been very badly hurt and his place wrecked. Someone has got to help him. Help him get out of town, you mean? No, senor. Help him continue to publish the Sentinel. Why'd you come to me? Expect me to print it? <laughs> of course not. I've just come to tell you, Senor Tim, that the next edition of the Sentinel will be published. Yeah? Who's gonna do it? Maybe Webster City will have to learn to read Spanish, but I, Cisco, will see that the Sentinel is published. <laughs> In just a moment, we'll bring you the exciting climax of our story of The Cisco Kid. Back to The Cisco Kid. With editor Don Harris recovering from his wounds, Cisco, who has been quietly investigating the trouble at the Sentinel office, is struggling, with the help of Mary Harris and Pancho, to see that the next edition of the Sentinel is published. Hey, that goes there. Hex goes into the little place way down low. H is like the hay, so we put it with the hay. How are you doing, Pancho? You get the type all back in the boxes? Cisco, where we got to do this? Put the little types all back in the boxes? So Senor Don and Senorita Mary can take them out again and fix them to print the paper. Just like Pancho think. Pick them up, put them away, so somebody take them out again, and then Pancho got to do the whole thing over. See? It's awfully good of you and Pancho to help, Cisco. But I'm afraid it's no use. If we do get the paper out, it just means more trouble. We've got to get the paper out, Mary. I'll do all I can, and with Cisco and Pancho helping, I think we can do it. You're determined to print another story about Tim Miller's place. Oh, Tim Miller's place is no longer news, Mary. We've got a bigger story to print, thanks to Cisco. A bigger story? What is it? Tell her, Cisco. Senorita, Tim Miller is just working for someone else. We think we have found who that someone else is. That is the story Senor Don will print. <laughs> What's the idea of us meeting way out here, Martin? Just because you can never come to the bank, Tim, and I can never go to the Silver Dollar. All right, Chief. Now we're here, what's the setup? I want your boys to cut a hundred head of cattle out of Jim Boyd's market drive, change their brands, and turn them loose on the open range. Pretty risky, Martin. How do you reckon to do it? Well, that's for you to figure out. Suppose I don't figure. You remember that little thing in Ponca City, don't you? Sure I do. Well, just see you do as I say, that's all. Oh, and Tim... Yeah? you will never go losing your head again. Gunplay don't pay off in the kind of stakes we're after. 
That goes for anybody who's working for you. Savvy? Yeah, boss, I savvy. Cisco? See? Si? I've got the story ready to set in type. You want to hear it? You are telling about Martin and how he owns the silver dollar? Yep, that's the story. You are sure now about those facts? I have known Tim Miller for a long time. I know many things that he does not know I know. Like back in Punca City, hey, Cisco? Si, hey, Pancho. In Punca City, a very long time ago, Tim Miller was about to be hung. Uh-huh. The Senor Martin saved his life. Hmm. Ever since that time, Miller has been doing what Senor Martin tells him to. This I know. That's good enough for me. We print the story. Cisco. Si, Pancho. Why did you let Senorita Mary go for a ride on Diablo? Uh, she's not a very good rider. And better Pancho thinks she ride loco. That is the reason why she rode Diablo. Oh. Diablo is a much smarter horse. He will take good care of her. Nothing more must happen to Senorita Mary and her brother. Cisco, someone come riding very fast. Huh? Well, come. We see who it is. It's Diablo. Who that is rider? Senorita Mary is gone. Hey, wait. Easy. Easy, Diablo. Ho. Oh. Oh, ho, muchacho. Ho, 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 ho. Cisco, a paper on the saddle with riding. Yeah, let me have it, Pancho. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cisco, I have been kidnapped. I am in Blind Canyon. I will pin this note to Diablo's saddle and hope he can reach you. Mary. Blind Canyon? Oh, that's very far away. I did not think Senorita Mary would ride so far. Uh, Senor Don. Yes? This is your sister's handwriting. Yes, Cisco, that's Mary's writing. I guess I should have taken her advice and moved on from Webster City. Pancho, eh? come with me. Uh-huh. Diablo. <clears throat> you stay here and get the paper ready, Senor Don. We will find your sister. Up, Diablo. Here. Diablo, go to Blind Canyon. Go now, go. Take it easy, or I'll have to have Sam tie your hands. Yeah, I'd like to tie your hands after oh, she scratched me, the little wildcat. Why did I ever write that note? The pain would have been right bad, ma'am, if you hadn't. I could have stood it. Why did you have me ride Blind Canyon when you brought me here to the Silver Dollar? Tim here figured out a pretty good reason. Yeah, kind of like to get Cisco out of the way. He'd be well out of the way when he meets up with Slim and the boys, eh, Tim? Yeah, now we can take care of that writing brother of yours. This time, we'll see that the Sentinel never gets published again. About time to get going, Tim? Yeah, yeah, you better tie her up, Sam. Mm. She'll be safe in this back room. You and me's got work to do. Oh, the ho, ho, ho. Rain in, Pancho. Ho, loco, ho, loco. Rain in, rain in, loco, rain in. No, something is not right about this note, Pancho. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? Huh? It was too easy for Senorita Mary to pin it on Diablo's saddle. Mm-hmm. I do not think she is being held in Blind Canyon. Then why'd you come this way? And so fast, too. Sometimes it's a good idea to do as people expect you to. Oh? I think Senor Martin was watching as we rode past the bank. Oh, Senor Martin. You think he maybe like us to ride this way? Pancho, I think he planned it that way. Well, Cisco, what do we do now? We stay out of sight until it gets dark. Mm. That not be very long. Then we ride back to Webster City. Hmm? I think I know exactly where we will find Senorita Harris. Confound it, Tim. I told you never to come to the bank or the house here either. I hey, know, Chief, but this isn't important. Harris has already made a complaint to the sheriff. Don't worry about the sheriff. I'll handle him. Uh, what about this Cisco kid? He won't cause no trouble. He's being taken care of right now. Good. You cutting out them cattle tonight, Tim? Yeah. And if anything goes wrong here, the Cisco kid will get blamed for it. Who's there? It's me, Sam. What are you doing here, Sam? I had to come, Tim. This is real trouble. What's the matter? There's another issue of the Sentinel just out. I gave orders not to bother about the Sentinel. What he says about the silver dollar don't do no real harm. But this ain't about the silver dollar. What's it about? Let me see. A man behind the crime in Webster City, hiding behind a cloak of respectability. The real criminal in our midst is Asa Martin. Why, that dirty skunk Harris? Yeah, how do you know about that? I don't know, but we'll go shut him up right now for good. Senorita Mary, it is Cisco. Can you hear me? Ah, she is there, Pancho. See, now what we do. That one little window, very high in the wall. 
will not get in. I will get in, Pancho. But you must help. How, 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 how? You will go in the front door of the Silver Dollar. The Silver Dollar. And huh? as soon as you are in, start shooting out the lights. Shooting out the lights. I will get into Tim Miller's private office through this window. Si, 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 go. After you shoot out the lights, uh-huh. run quickly with a message to the sheriff. Si, si, go. But what do you do? I will rescue the senorita and look for something I think I will find in Tim Miller's desk. Go quickly, Pancho. Hola, you hombre. It's me, Pancho. The two gun caballero. Reach up for the sky. Look out, man. That fat scoundrel's drunk. Si, hombre, Pancho, very mean. Hey, he took down the last. Get off man. Dance Don't make a move. Wait, Martin. Something's wrong at the Silver Dollar. Don't worry about that. We're after Don Harris. You're going to walk right in on him? Why not? We got three guns, ain't we? Come on. Yes, gentlemen? I'm Asa Martin. You put this story in the Sentinel? That's right. I'm the editor. You mean you was the editor. Start in on him, boys. Take him, boys. I'll be right outside. No, Senor Martin, I would not run if I were you. Cisco and the sheriff. See, in his eye. Take your hands off me. Sheriff, arrest this man. Sure, Acer. Come here, you. Sheriff, you arrest this man. What the Sentinel Prince is true. What? Don't you believe it, Sheriff? Not a word of it's true. Shooting inside the Sentinel, Cisco. Aren't you afraid? Poor Dan Harris. He... Wait, wait, wait. Someone is coming to the door. They say you Harris. Harris, you've caused a lot of trouble around this town. Oh, Don. Do not worry, Senorita. Your brother is not hurt. Sheriff, let's cut out the conversation. I demand those charges in the paper be proved right now. While they're in a scrap of evidence. Senor Sheriff. Yes, what is it? Senor Jim Boyd has been losing a lot of cattle to rustlers lately. Is this not so? That's right. And he ain't the only one. I've been trying to catch them farmers for months. And Senor Martin's herds have been getting larger? What are you getting at? I own every head of them cattle. As you say, Senor. But how did you get them? It ain't none of your dad blame business. I'm a respectable man. See, si, Senor. So I read in today's Sentinel. Uh, Sheriff. Yes, Cisco? You are familiar with Senor Martin's uh, cattle brand? Sure am. Big circle with a lot of little squares inside it. That would pretty well cover up any other brand, would it not? Yeah, maybe you're right. Sheriff, is this Senor Martin's branding iron? Where'd you get that? In Tim Miller's desk in his private office at the Silver Dollar, where I also found Senorita Mary tied and gagged. Well, Martin, looks like something's caught up with you. Oh, no, it hasn't, Sheriff. I gotta be caught first. You... Halt, Martin. Try to stop me. No. Hate to do that, but the law's the law. <laughs> Don, you are a very brave man. Of course Don's a brave man. He'll always fight for the right, and he'll always be in the right. Well, don't forget, Mary, if it hadn't been for Cisco, my fight for right and justice in Webster City wouldn't have gotten very far. Oh, Cisco, we know that so well. Don and I will never be able to thank you enough. To hear those words from the senorita is thanks enough for Cisco. Mm, For Pancho, too. We go now, huh, Cisco? Oh, very soon, amigo. But why are you in so much of a hurry? Uh, Senor Don is taking the little types out again. And Pancho not want to try again with the hays and the hexes and the, and the hitches. Carambo, that no job for Pancho. <laughs> Pancho. <laughs> Uh, Pancho. Si, Cisco. You know, Pancho, it's a wonderful thing, that printing press. Uh, it's a lot of trouble, Cisco. Learn to read all big words. It's better to hear someone tell it. Oh, but printing can tell the same story to many, many people at the same time. Uh, better, maybe. They not know the story. You know, someday, Pancho, people will know many things. Huh? And like the printing press... There will be machines to do many things. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Huh? Well, you know, Pancho, uh-huh. someday, a long time from now, maybe there will be a machine to pump the water, plow the fields, wash clothes, cook the meals, sweep the floor. Oh, 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 oh that nothing, Cisco. Nothing? Uh-huh. Oh, I do not understand, amigo. Hey, my brother, he already got one of these things. He has... Oh, this is impossible. 
What is it, Pancho? It's very simple, Cisco. Well, Pancho, what is this wonderful machine? It's no machine, Cisco. It's his wife. Oh, Pancho! Oh, Cisco! <laughs> and so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. Be sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather, Poncho by Harry Langer.